For the past week or so, I've been giving Klein a spin. It is a new plugin for VS Code, Windsurf, and Cursor. And I gotta say, I really have started to like it. It's got a couple of cool aspects to it. It's open source. You can hook into whatever LM model you like. It can do the agentic thing very well. But the main thing that it also does is it forces you to work in a certain way. And the main thing that it does is it forces you to think in plan mode or in act mode. During plan mode, the whole point is that you're going to talk to the LLM and figure out what needs doing. It's, it's kind of like if you're on GitHub, that you're forced to write a really good GitHub issue before you actually start working and building your PR. Once you agree on the plan, then it's time to act, and only then will the LLM be allowed to actually write code. And the thing that's pretty interesting is that both plan and act mode can have their own LLM. So that means that you can do something like use Google Gemini with its very long context length and also being quite cheap. You can use that to do all of your planning and you can go through all of your files and I can definitely see the argument that that will be a good candidate for plan mode. And then when it's time to maybe actually start writing code, uh, that might be a good time to actually use Claude because Claude is kind of better at that, but it's also a bit more expensive. But it's maybe fine because all the planning happened with the cheaper LLM. And this holds for vendors like... OpenAI and stuff, but it also holds for open source models that you could go ahead and use. So if you use OpenRouter, you could maybe use Quen3 for planning, that's one of the more cheap models, and maybe use Kimi K2 for the acting part. And, and there's lots of other things that you can configure and lots of details that are also worth talking about, but uh, the main thing that Claude forces on you is this distinction between planning and acting, and it's something that I will say I have gotten to like. So I figured I might give a quick demo. This is VS Code, and this is the client sidebar. And there's a couple of things that I did beforehand, but the main thing to observe just for now is that I've got this chat box at the bottom over here, and there's a plan and act mode. If you want to configure that properly, there's a cog on the upper right-hand side over here. And from here, you can configure different models for planning and for acting. And in this uh, demo, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to use Quen3 Coder for plan mode, and we are gonna go ahead and use Kimi K2 uh, for the act mode. And both of these models are configured via open router, which is nice, because tons of models that you can pick from, super nice. But as a demo, let's maybe start a new task. So let's do something like, I want to have a Python script that can run on the command line and show me all the folders that contain uh, Python files. Ask me anything. And let's see what it produces. So the conversation has started. A bunch of text got generated first. After that, it recursively started viewing files in a directory. It made a little bit of a plan. But notice that we also have a pretty good progress bar on top over here that tells us how far we are in terms of our context length. There's a distinction between prompt tokens and completion tokens, but for each request, we also see how much it actually costs. So you're being made aware of the cost as you're making different requests, which I think is also just a nice touch. It's good to be aware of that. And at the end of this conversation, I can also see that it's asking me a few questions. So um, it wants to use OS walk maybe, or pathlib. It also has a question about if I want to explore hidden directories as well. So I'll just give it some feedback. Uh, use pathlib, rich and typer for this. Let's not explore hidden folders and assume the current there, unless a param is passed to the script. I want to see nested folders we can add a flag for this behavior. And it starts planning some more. What I really want to point out here is that a part of this conversation is something you could do yourself by just starting the prompt with all the required information. You could say things like, hey, use pathlib, bridge, and typer up front. That's totally fine. But what I really like is how it does try to ask me some questions. Maybe there are some gaps in my explanation. And something about actively asking me and me being actively conscious that I'm still in the planning mode um, that is super productive because it's going to prevent any questions or feedback being needed while being in act mode and less back and forth is better. Anyway, we are at about a cent of token cost and I can see a pretty good plan as is. It's understanding the libraries that I like to use. It is understanding the script features that I want to use. And I agree with some of these implementation details. It even gives me a bit of a preview of the command line interface. So this looks pretty good. I'm now going to say, let's go into act mode. And in this case, what I got to do is I really got to toggle going into act mode because otherwise it's not going to be able to write code. So hit the button, small detail. I can see it write code on the side over here, but at the bottom, I can also see that we've switched models. It's using Kimi K2 now instead of uh, Quen. So it's written some code and it looks pretty good, but it's having trouble actually running this from the command line. So what I got to do is I got to say, well, let's use 
UV and add the dependencies on top so we can use UV run on the script. Now note, when you're in act mode, you can still give it feedback, right? Now at the end of all this, and I think also a final nice touch, at some point the agent feels like it's done, so it's gonna report that the task is completed. And you also get a bunch of green text to really make it clear that this is a different phase. And uh, what I could do is maybe also scroll to the bottom. I see some usage examples. This all looks good. Uh, at the end, it, my, you know, it seems to want to run this one command line app. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and reject it now, but, but this is Klein. And again, what I really like is the clear distinction between act mode and planning mode. I like the fact that you're really forced to think ahead a little bit. And I also really think that planning in the end saves a whole lot of time. And it's really similar to the Git workflow. If you have a very poorly described issue, you can also expect that the PR that follows is probably going to be pretty poor and it's gonna require a whole lot more back and forth in order to get right than if we took the same effort and applied it to the issue instead. So if you haven't already, you might wanna give it a try, especially the fact that you can configure all sorts of different models is nice. And oh, final thing also worth mentioning, what you can also do is you can also configure Claude code to be used inside of this interface. In order to get that to work, what you gotta do is you gotta point it to the Claude code uh, command line path. But once that's configured, you should be good to go. And that's also something that you can go ahead and use uh, inside of this interface. So if you like the Claude code kind of experience, but more closer to an IDE, uh, this is definitely something that you might like.